Hello everybody, this is Terry with Super Sport Model Shop. Hey, I wanted to let y'all see where I am on the GTO. Um, we've got a little bit done. Uh, weather's not cooperating today. Uh, did get a little bit of paint done yesterday. Uh, had to go do some Walmart stuff with the wife today, so, but anyway. Um... Been working on these headrests and these seats. Not real sure that those are gonna show up real good, but we're gonna try to we're gonna try to uh paint those seats black and that insert, we're gonna try to do that red, I think, is what we're gonna do. Um I uh <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do a little bit of like I say, some red back there in the back of that. Not sure. Uh See if we can turn that light up a little bit. My lighting is not that great. But uh, we're going to do some red back here in the back. Uh, leave the outside edges of the seats black. But uh, we uh, we did get the uh, dash to where it was set down in there. Think about doing that uh, that dash matte black where it's not shiny um but it is sitting in there like it's supposed to um got the wheel backs and all that done um thinking about doing the uh red line tires on this one um also uh was gonna see if uh y'all would comment and uh tell me what you think would look better these are the uh the bone stock Pontiac wheels here um, I'm not a big fan of them but uh, these are kind of like the wheels they used on the uh, kind of like on the General Lee it's just got a lot more spokes in it but uh, I think those are um, hurricane wheels if I'm not mistaken I may be wrong but uh, anyway Y'all leave me a comment. Tell me what you think look better. We're going to do a little black wash in them. Whichever ones uh, we decide to do. And uh, to make them look a lot better. What they are now. But anyway. Um, pulled out the uh, exhaust. And uh, I'm not not real happy with the, uh, the headers uh, on this thing. Uh, but uh i don't know i'm gonna look at them and see uh might do might do the headers back into the exhaust going run, running through the exhaust i don't know we'll see what uh we'll see what comes about on that but uh anyway just thought we'd throw that in there but uh still cleaning up some flashing and stuff like say uh the that's all the tape that I pulled off the bottom today. I painted it yesterday, but anyway. Um, trying to get some more, like I say, some of this flashing off of this thing. Um, the fan, uh, pulleys and belts there, and got the shocks, firewall, and got the um, actual radiator. Ain't much of a radiator, but that's what it is. But anyway. Um, It'll show you the bottom of this thing. Um, painted this uh, yesterday. Had it all taped off. Got a little spot right here in the middle. Got to fix. But other than that, um, that's the way it's going to look. And uh, I thought it turned out pretty decent. But uh, I'm not going to complain about it. Like I say, it's going to be kind of a bone stalker. And uh, we're going we're gonna to let it ride with that. But... Um, I painted, I uh, had to go back and repaint this body a little bit. Had some fingerprints in it. It still ain't completely out all the way, but it's enough that you can't really tell it. But um, let that light shine on that thing a little bit. I ain't done no novice on that thing at all. Uh, really, really, really happy with that paint. Um, there's no lint in it nowhere. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. But um, yeah. It's, uh, well, knock the hood off of it, but anyway, yeah, it's, uh, that's just, uh, paint and clear lacquer on that joker, but, uh, 
we are going to do some novus on it i want it to be a little bit more shiny than what it is but uh also uh, try and put that hood back in there leave that hood in got the uh got the grill sitting in there it is not there permanently it's just sitting there it's not exactly where it needs to be but uh makes it look like a gto now no but anyway that's where we had our on the body still got to do the bare metal foil around these windows around that vent right there and that vent window and around that windshield on the back of that thing we are going to do the bare metal foil on it and uh um i don't know i i, I thought about the decal that goes on the side of it. It's got a red decal and then there's a, I can't remember, it's a red decal and another colored decal, but not real sure we're gonna do a decal. So I'm just, uh, not on this one anyway. Uh, we get to doing a gas or something like that. We, we'll we probably do, a, we'll probably do some decals and make it look like a drag car. But anyway, <clears throat> got the motor done as far as uh, the paint. I ain't put nothing else on it. Um, I did have the headers on it, and I uh, pulled the headers off because I just didn't like them. And uh, that's uh, that's where the motor. What we we on the motor? Was trying to do a Pontiac blue, but I uh, don't know that that's going to actually be a Pontiac blue. But it is what it is. That's what we're going to do right there. But um. Uh, I've tried to make this media video about this will be about the sixth time today. I ain't really sure what's going on. Uh, can't get the uh, picture to show up on this thing the way it's supposed to. But uh, we uh, we uh, we got like I say all this stuff sitting out here still just white styrene. Still got to spray it. Can't do anything with that because of weather's not cooperating outside. So we're not gonna spray anything. Uh, not today anyway. Hopefully the next day or two it'll clean. It'll get uh, cleared up. We'll get back at it. But I did uh, I did accomplish one thing today. Um, this bench has been so clustered up. Um, and it's still clustered. Don't get me wrong. But I had stuff stacked all the way to the edge. All the way back here. And all the way on my work area. All over this thing. And uh, we took that stuff to the storage today. I got tired of moving it. I mean, and I I'm, I had two tackle boxes that was full of stuff that I, I do with this, this other little hobby that I've been doing. And I just kind of stopped doing it for right now. But um, this, uh, this model building is more important to me. I enjoy it a whole lot more. Um, I mean, I got stuff I can... You know put these things in and i just i uh we're gonna we're gonna stay at this we're gonna keep doing this but anyway we took all that stuff up to storage get it out of our hair <clears throat> and uh <clears throat> got rid of that but anyway um also uh today for the first time i pulled the interior out of the bath that i had it in I've uh, been having a little bit of trouble getting the paint off of that interior because um not real sure that it sticks a whole lot better, but um, this is actually the, um, that's the paint we used on the uh, 55, and it's the PS18, and I'm pretty sure that that is... Uh, Or the Lexan RC cars, but that's what's on the 55 as far as the color, the PS18. But anyway, uh, couldn't get the uh, couldn't get all of it out. Got about 99.8 percent of the paint out of the interior, so it's back in the bath. Hopefully, uh, that little bit will come out. Um, I'm using Purple Power <coughs> for the bath. Excuse me. And I'm uh, not sure that that's the best to use. Y'all uh, 
throw me a comment. We upgrade and stuff, so if we need to upgrade that stuff as far as uh, the bath that we have to put stuff in, y'all uh, y'all throw me a comment down there. Let me know what y'all use, um, because right now that's what I'm using. And uh, matter of fact, if I look in that uh, when I was looking in that interior today, the pearl white paint is still in the actual interior it did not come out but anyway um also um just want to mention some some names some inspiration for what uh what i'm doing um uh the main guy and don't mean to not mention anybody else just um we're gonna throw a few names in there but um I watch a lot of videos, a lot of a lot of videos, and this uh, learning everybody's names been a big issue with me. I, know, I mean, I know a few few of the guys as far as names and all that, but anyway, um, want to throw uh, Fred Henry's name in the hat. Um, I wouldn't be doing this as far as YouTube. I just wouldn't be doing it. Uh, and Fred Henry is, um, I mean. The content that he puts out, you know, he sits there and he shoots the shit with us, you know, doing lives and all kind of stuff. And, you know, um, he's, he's awesome. I mean, he's been my inspiration to do this YouTube. And I like to say, I, I would have never started a YouTube channel without him. And also um, watch Brian over at Got Fuel Models for the first time when he was fooling around with his phone there sitting in the living room in his chair trying to figure out youtube and uh uh watching him and some of the stuff that he's done you know like the wood grain steering wheel um uh, man uh learning a lot from y'all guys um um throttle power over there i mean um uh, man i'm telling you uh He's doing uh, kit reviews and stuff like that. I watch that stuff, and I mean, he does his bills and all that. Awesome, awesome bills. I mean, I'm nowhere to the caliber of these guys. I'm, I'm, I might as well call myself a part timer because I get to do this on the weekend, and that's it. But uh, these guys out here. Uh, I I just you know uh, I I want to I want to go to the shows and all that stuff and meet some of these guys and it's just uh, I don't even know that I want to even put anything of mine on the table because I don't I just don't think that uh, it's table worthy stuff not now anyway but um, I mean I I've got a few decent pieces but other than that you know but uh, um, I also want to throw uh, <clears throat> want to throw Matthew's name in there um been watching him and he's been still trying to do modeling and stuff with his uh shoulder uh surgery that he had done and told him that I was going to say a prayer for him and for speedy recovery and everything but uh, <coughs> excuse me Matthew just take it easy man just uh let that let that shoulder heal up some and uh this modeling's always going to be here I mean it ain't going nowhere I've been doing it on and off for years, um, and uh, like I say, it ain't going nowhere, man. Just take it easy and do your thing, and uh, I, I really enjoyed watching him do that, uh, I think it was a 53 uh, panel truck, that uh, that Harley Davidson truck that he did red, and uh, it turned out awesome. I'm glad he did not do the harley davidson on it uh, i'm just i'm not one to put that kind of stuff on my stuff anyway but anyhow um also uh just want to throw uh neiman chambers in there over there at uh at the model zone captain nemo um i do enjoy watching his stuff He's uh, trying to restore old Rusty right now, and uh, it's coming along pretty good from what I can see. And uh, 
really in, enjoy watching watching his stuff and uh also uh jeff's model garage uh watch a lot of his stuff too um when he's putting up videos and stuff but um <clears throat> anyway um i really appreciate y'all guys i really do this is uh been something that I've thought about for a long time as far as doing this YouTube stuff and uh, um, there's been a lot of inspiration out there not just the guys that I mentioned but a lot of other guys and uh, I want to tell y'all all I appreciate y'all I really do so but um, anyhow um, I'm thinking that I'm missing something here and ain't, uh, ain't brought something to my attention. But anyway, um, like I say, I really appreciate all of y'all. Uh, all my new subscribers that I'm picking up, uh, never would have thought that we'd have been where we're at with subscribers. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, it's been an awesome little, little ride and we still riding it and, uh, we're going to keep on riding it. But, um, Anyhow, guys, I really appreciate y'all. Uh, if you don't mind, like and subscribe and uh, pass the word around. And uh, we're going to get out of here and we catch y'all later. Bye-bye.